Hi, Shishwap Needle Arts Guild. I'm Leah Cuthbert, also a happy member of the Shishwap Needle Arts Guild. Uh, okay, honestly, I'm not really happy. Uh, it's been a difficult year for everyone. Uh, this worldwide pandemic has kept us social distancing, it's kept us at home, sheltering in place, uh, no large groups, um, and all of that is important and it continues to be important, but it doesn't change the fact that we haven't been able to get together and I haven't seen you and I haven't been able to chat with you and see what you're making and, and learn, learn from you. What I'm doing is I'm inviting you, my guild, Shushwap Needle Arts Guild, to join me in um, a sort of a tutorial series on how to do wool applique. And the reason I've chosen wool applique is because when I first joined the guild a couple of years ago, uh, some of you so very kindly had commented on a on a upcycled embroidered wool bag that I that I made that I had brought with me. And um, here, I'll show you the bag. This is the bag. Yeah, we're not making the bag. But what we are going to do is I made a, uh, made up a couple of patterns to sh just so you can dip your toes into the water of wool applique. Uh, what we're going to make is first we're going to start off with a pin cushion slash paperweight. I turned mine into a paperweight. It's full of copper pellets that makes it kind of heavy, but Either way, it'll work. Pincushion paperweight. Um, once we've got that down, then we're going to make a little trivet uh, for hot dishes or cold dishes or a mug rug or whatever you'd, you'd like to call it um, that looks like this. And that's a little closer to what I did on the bag. So that's the second thing that we're going to do. Um, and I'm going to hopefully be covering enough information for you that you'll just say, yes, I'm, I'm in. Count me in with wool applique. Uh, you don't have to... Um, you don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. If you, there's so many patterns out there online that you can get for beautiful things that you can make with wool applique, uh, and there's and there's tutorials and there are um, kits that you can buy. Uh, that's how I started. I started with a kit, um, and a kit I think is a good way to go because you get started and you find out whether you like it or not. Uh, it's better than just going out and purchasing a hundred dollars worth of fabric and going yikes. I don't like this at all. So we're going to talk about applique, uh, how I get that, how I get my fabric onto my base fabric, how a few other people are doing it too, so you've got some options. Um, we're, I'm going to show you how to do a pattern, how to how to actually make your own template if you'd rather than use the pattern that's in in the course material that I have here. And I'm going to show you how to stitch it, how to build it from the ground up. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do the whole, the full meal deal, as it were. So yeah, so there we go. Um, I do have a pattern, it's right here. It will be available to you, to anybody that wants it. Um, the other thing that I've done is I've, I've totally raided my stash because I have a ridiculous amount of of wool, uh, just because I am an upcycler, um, so I've, I'm putting together a kit that will that goes for both items, so that you can um, so that you can make both items. But I'll talk about that in upcoming videos. Uh, if you'd like a kit, you just need to let me know or let Sandra know. Um, that will be fine. If you're not a member of the Shoe Shop Needle Arts Guild. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't help you with a kit, but you are welcome to the pattern and you're more than welcome to watch the videos if you'd like. So it's time to get stitching. Let's get started. Hi, I came back. It occurred to me as I was editing this clip that I kept mentioning the kit, the kit, here a kit, there a kit, everywhere a kit kit. And I kept saying it was gonna be in an upcoming video. Well, that's kind of weird. I think it should be in this video right now. So I'm going to explain the kit to you in the next clip. Thanks. Okay, so as I've mentioned, I've raided my stash so I could make up some kits for those of you that would like to just kind of test the waters with uh, wool applique without kind of diving in and, and just overloading yourself with materials. So what's in the kit is the, the material to make this pin cushion slash paperweight. And so you'll get four, four pieces of felted wool and a piece of quilting cotton for the back, which is 
what's going on here. And that's what's in this one uh, that goes with this. The uh, trivet here has pretty much the same kind of thing. I'm just going to move it over. Let's move all of this over. So backing fabric. And that's this here, backing fabric. It might not, your, what you get might not be these exact colors because I don't have a kind of a runaway of amount of any single color. Uh, so you're going to get sort of a, a mix of colors. Hopefully you'll find them uh, pleasing. I'll do my best to do that for you. Uh, so there's four colors for the flowers. There's four centers for the flowers. And then there's a couple of greens to go in the middle uh, for the leaves that are in the middle. and the background circle. Okay, so the kit will have both of those piles of fabric in them. And it will also include um, freezer paper. It's going to include a piece of freezer paper, so you don't need to go out and figure out where to get freezer paper. So I'll, I'll put enough of that in there so that you can do the projects as well. Uh, the, the cost of the kit is going to be five dollars. Uh, I'm going to give three dollars to the Shoe Swap Needle Arts Guild for each kit and two dollars I'll hang on to just to kind of help cover the cost of uh, packing it up and, and, and getting it to you and sorting it all out. So five dollars all together and there it is. There's the kit. Hopefully there's something in it that looks like it might be the good idea for you because I really think you'll enjoy wool applique and this is a pretty easy way to get started at it. So take care and we'll I'll see you in video two. I'm going to talk about needles and thread. Take care.